Today we're going to need a Stanley blade, a simple pop-up Stanley blade. You can get it from Bunnings or a flooring supplier. Very simple and an appropriate tool to use here. What do you do when you come to a carpet surface like this and you want to put down your loose lay vinyl planks? This is the first thing that you're going to do amongst the renovation and your DIY installation. Get this little first step sorted, you rip the carpet out, get the ball rolling. Take a Stanley blade, you want to break the section up. So run through all the way. Once you've cut it all the way through, it's going to make your life a lot easier. Take it from the corner, rip it up. See these little spiky strips down here? They're called smooth edge. They have little angled spikes that face into the wall that lock the carpet in. So as you run around the perimeter, it's as simple as that. Down you go. Why it's, why it's easier to break it up into small pieces like this, because when you have a smaller ute or a trailer, first of all, it's easier to manage. Roll it up nice and simply, put it out down here. Same thing happens with the carpet. This is the carpet underlay, so that's gonna be fastened again. Roll it up. Beautiful. Once you've got your carpet up, the next thing to attack here is your smooth edge. As you can see on the smooth edge, there's nails. Every roughly 200 is a nail. So we're gonna need two different tools. We're gonna need a hammer, hammer from Bunnings, flat chisel from Bunnings. It's always nice to get the plastic one with the protector because you're hitting it with a bit of force. This is gonna protect your hand. So take the flat chisel, right on the hammer, on the nail, pop it, pop it, pop it. So if you get a bit of a flow happening, it's a simple one, two, and then it kicks up off the floor. Once it's up off the floor, there's a few other points of concern. See here, some of the nails came out cleanly, they pop straight out of the concrete, some of them don't. Take the back of your hammer, just use the leverage. Roll it along, use the leverage. Roll it along, use the leverage. As the nails come out, be very mindful. Don't ever hit your nails, because the nails can come off like a rocket and flick across the room and hit you in the eye. This way here, there's no points of concern of anything ever flicking up. We always recommend wear a bit of eyewear. As you can see there, nice and clean, smooth edge is gone, rinse and repeat, carry on the process throughout the entire room. As I was talking about getting the smooth edge up, there's two different ways we can do it. You've got your little flat chisel and your hammer. This can work. Sometimes the concrete's a little bit stubborn, using a rubber mallet, a bit heavier, a bit more momentum, and a little crowbar. Using the crowbar, again, for that leverage, putting it straight on top and popping it up. Very, very simple. A little bit more leverage, and it pops up off the floor. I still prefer that hammer, actually. With the pinch bar, two different methods to take it. You can either flip it this way, hit it, or you can turn it. If you turn it this way, you get a little bit more pop, a little bit more leverage. I've shown you three different variations on how to take this smooth edge up. You may have this tool, you may have that tool, but reality is you're gonna find what's easiest for you, what's safest to pop the flooring up off the, this one here, straight up. Let's get behind that door now. Same rules apply, straight down, on top of the nail, 